It is widely believed that more often than not, parents want their children to emulate them or to become what they had hoped to be, and that football dads feel proud and honored when their sons follow in their footsteps. But do they always? Understanding the pressure that comes with elite athletic performance and staying in top form all the time, the injuries and the ever-present comparisons, some football dads wish different parts for their sons. Linus Makwaza Sr. did not immediately leap for joy when his son Linus Jr. began to show signs of wanting to pursue football professionally. And as he recalled, neither did his father before him. But with two sons having chosen this path and a third currently coaching a local academy, it makes it hard to argue against the notion that football runs in the Makwaza blood. Maybe football chose them. My full names are Linus Makwaza Sr. I've played football for Power Dynamos for 15 years. I won the league with Power Dynamos three times, uh, 90, 91 and 97. Playing and coaching two different roles. I think when, when you are playing, it's a group. And uh, when you are a coach, uh, it's a small group. You have to mentor people and uh, that's the, very, the, the, the difference. That has been a big influence to, to the team. The influence is uh, very simple. Uh, it's, it's to ask the boy if he really wants to play football, the consequences of playing football, the do's and don'ts in football. And uh, myself, I went through my dad's uh, mentorship and uh, over the same way, I, I always push them because they have chosen to be footballers. Paul Denham is a big club, a very, very demanding club, uh, supporters-wise, uh, sponsors-wise, they are very demanding. What is needed is to win a trophy. This is the right time for him to win the league because he's young and uh, uh, the rate they are going, especially the young uh, power dynamos, the rate they are going, uh, the sky is the limit because they are young and uh, exposure will be there when they, they play continental. So there are so many things involved with uh, winning the league. There's no difference. At home I can call him dad, but uh, when he comes on the field of play, he's always serious with his work. I'm also always serious with my work. Uh, I think there's uh, no difference. I just take him as uh, any other coach. When we come at the stadium, I think uh, I treat them like uh, any other player. My expectations in the Champions League, of course, are very high. Uh, this league has, has prepared us very well for any tough games ahead of us because uh, this, this has been a very, very competitive league. I think that's an extra motivation for me because when we won the Mandela, uh, we experienced a lot of uh, challenges where we a challenge like uh, by that time they were you, we were not support we were not moving with our chefs, but our team manager uh, never left the injured players. We went with them. They were acting like chefs. So such experiences, I think, uh, will make will push us when we we go in the uh, CAF Champions League. Before Lino Senior became a household name in Zambian football, his father, Dixon Makwaza, had raised the bar to immense heights, captaining the Zambian national team during its greatest hour of that era in 1974 when they reached the final of the Africa Cup of Nations against Zaire, now called the Democratic Republic of Congo. It would appear that Grandpa Makwaza knew, even when his grandchildren were nothing more than toddlers, that they too would choose the pitch. My name is Mapalo Emmanuel Makwaza. I'm 15 years old. I'm a very skillful winger at Young Power Dynamos. I started playing for Young Power Dynamos in 2014. Then my, my mom wanted me to pursue my, my, my education then. Um, she wanted me to complete first my education so that I can start playing football later on. That's when I started active football, playing for Young Power Dynamos and the under 18 setup. I believe carrying the Makwaza name comes with great responsibility and demands a lot of hard work. Whatever misgivings Lino Senior may have had about his children pursuing professional football careers, those fell away the moment he realized they meant business. Instead, his role expanded to mentor and coach, 
providing solid support to their burgeoning careers. It was always about football because um, I used to play a lot of football when I visited him in Luansha. So um, he knew that I had that passion, you know, that passion to play football. And it just comes naturally. I believe I didn't choose football, but football chose me. Yeah. Would you remember some of the stories that you had with him? Um, I was very young, but um, I remember there's this one time I visited with my, I visited him with my young sister, Salifianji. Um, he was like, he told me in our local language, he was like, Lino, Eine, um, meaning junior. Then he was like, you, you're like your dad. And that, that encouraged me a lot to push for greater heights and do great things. What did he mean exactly when he compared you with? Um, as in, Linos is a no-nonsense type of um, midfielder. <laughs> then um, I'm more of a skillful winger. Yeah. Uh, no, he was he was kind of a tactical player, and though I didn't have the chance to watch him play, but um, stories and rumors say that he was a very good header of the ball. And um, actually, I'm also a good header with the ball, so I'm kind of following in his footsteps. Has he told you about the goal he scored against South Africa? I remember it like it happened yesterday. Um, actually, he hasn't. But um, there is this magazine that that we have at home. Um, a Power Dynamo's magazine. I kind of read it and um, I think he's the one who scored in the, um, is it the Mandela Cup? Yeah, he scored in the Mandela Cup and that's a great achievement because Power Dynamo is the only club that has won um, continental glory and I'm so proud of him. That support does not, however, include favors or leniency. In fact, Lino Sr. admits to being deliberately harder on Junior in training and never shies away from substituting him when he believes the team would perform better without him in any match. Nobody could lie to Linus Jr. about the demands of playing for Abayelo, a responsibility he takes very seriously and with pride. He does not look for favors, least of all from his dad. There's a golden rule between them. Work is serious business. While he is a dad at home, both understand that work is work and that on the pitch, delivery is what matters. Yes, sir, at home it's, it's all about football. We discuss football and uh, mentoring them is uh, the most important thing. There are do's and don'ts in football, so I always uh, encourage them. Uh, training is the key and uh, that's the way it is. Football is the language in the house. As to the times, uh the team that uh, I'm on, as in, in training, is likely most not to favor our team. In some insta instances whereby we make uh, another team makes a mistake, it's not us to go to, to start marking. He always point our team, as in like to work more harder and harder. Yeah, that, that, that upsets me sometimes, but sometimes it pushes me more and more. So what do you tell him when he's upset with you? <laughs> what do you tell him in response? I can't say anything because he's the boss. <laughs> I don't want to show the team that I'm protecting Joe. So I do things sometimes to make them work hard. Credit it to talent, discipline or hard work, but all these elements must have contributed to Linus Jr. making an instant impression on the pitch when he debuted for Power Dynamos in 2018, epitomizing the impact his father had made three decades earlier for the same team that had made an indelible mark on Zambian football. Junior started uh, with being a bobo and I was surprised that when I was playing, I could see uh, he's picking up balls. Uh, uh, you didn't know that doing? he was picking up balls. Yeah, 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 but yes, uh, uh, very committed, <laughs> and that's when they started uh, the academy for the young, young power. So that's how he started coming for training, training, and I didn't uh, oppose that, and I just let him enjoy himself. Uh, when the kid master didn't give them the balls, he was the first one to come. That he's not giving us training balls. So it was like he, he had the passion when he was very young. The lad had just bagged his first league title with the club five years into his senior team play and is seemingly thirsty to catch up to his father, who tasted league championship success with power three times in 1990, 1991 and 1997. Incidentally, his last league trophy came in the same year that Linus Jr. was born. 
coincidence or omen. 26 years later, father and son have conquered Zambian football as coach and player respectively, emphasizing that Bakwaza magic. He has improved uh, greatly and uh, going forward, I think uh, with the playing uh, continental games, uh, 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 he's moved to another level and uh, with hard work, like he said, uh, with discipline, uh, his destiny is, uh, is, uh, is good and uh, the, the number he plays, I think uh, uh, he has got more cards, more yellow cards at Power Dynamos and uh, as technical bench we know the number, the, 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 the position he plays is, uh, is to protect the back, the back uh, centre backs and uh, we, we know why he gets those cards. Like I said, it's about mentoring them with do's and don'ts. The sky is the limit for both of them. Mapalo is still an academy player and is not coached by his dad. But that does not shield him from the disciplined attitude to work demanded and lived by his father. Both boys are grateful for it and appreciate his strictness, not only in honing their football skills, but also in their home training. He's, he's a very serious person when it comes to, to football and um, when he's working, I think he's on, he's, he's on duty, he's working. So when he's home, um, that's when he's, he's this super dad. As a super dad, <laughs> what kind of conversations do you have, not related to football, does he tell you about girlfriends? Does he tell you about beer? Uh, no, my dad's mostly about discipline. Yeah, he, he installs this discipline in us, so there's no room for girls or beer. He's one person who doesn't want me to get married at the young age. He wants me to be successful. And when the right time comes, and I can go forward to get married. Um, he's one person, again, who is so strict about cave youth. You can't go past 20 hours and you're not home. Uh, you, get, you won't be friends on that one. Meanwhile, the younger Makwaza, Mapalo, is waiting in the wings, ready to don the senior team strip when the time comes to graduate from the Power Dynamos Academy side where he is making a mark. With this level of self-assuredness, determination and belief in the power of the name he carries, one cannot but impatiently wait to see the talent that will unfold for him. The Mokaza name is a very gallant name in um, Zambian football and it comes with great responsibility. I remember every time when, when my elder brother um, goes for, for training, um, it kind of gave me the edge to play football and most of all, um, uh, my, my granddad and dad right here, um, they kind of gave me the edge to push for football because I know I can do better than and I do. As for the elder of them, Kenny, who shares his name with his late grandfather, his path in football has taken him to coaching. Who knows, maybe one day becoming the second Makwaza trainer at power. It's impossible for the younger Makwazas to shake off the reminders and comparisons to their grandfather and father. But even without that, they understand that they've chosen a high-stakes career made even harder because of the shoes they are expected to fill both embody a steely determination to carry that name forward. The father expects no less of them. In fact, he wishes that this generation of his family will achieve more than his father and himself before. It's fair to say, Linus Jr. is now a grown man, steadily packing in his football experience. And it is that experience and hunger that he wants to take into the Confederation of African Football Champions League competition, where his expectations are very high. My dad uh, reached the finals in 1974. Uh, we reached, when I was playing, I reached the finals when we, in Tunisia 1994. And we won the Mandela, but as a father, I want them to go further than that. I want them, especially junior now, they're in the Tough Champions League. Uh, they have to do better than you know, their grandfather, better than me. That's the target, absolutely. That was first generation. Second generation, it was me. Now it's third generation. We see how far they can go. They have, they have to reach the finals of the Africa Cup. They must win something out of Zambia. While the third generation of the Makwaza has a lot to live up to in emulating the family's footballing achievements of the past and to make their own impact on Zambian football, 
they have already shown that they are not pushovers and have what it takes to continue the Makwaza legend of producing a long line of footballers. Linus Jr. and Mapalo have it etched in them that a man's honor is in his name and they are not about to drop the bar on the Makwaza name and legend. I want to say thank you for the impact he has added, he has added to me. I just used to hear words from people, no, your dad is a strict dad, your uh, dad is tough on the pitch. Uh, for myself, I've testified, I've worked with him. Uh, he, has, he has made me to become the player I am today. Yeah, and I'm very proud to obviously win the Super League title with him, because that doesn't happen. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm very proud of him. Mapalo, you've heard it all. What do you have to say yourself? Yeah, I'm also very proud of him because he's, he's done a lot in our football careers and I'm very grateful for that. Power, prestige and glory.